Over here is my favorite metal dumpster. And I am looking for something exactly like that. That would be a perfect heat sink for my wood stove. All right, let me see if I can't grab that real quick. Always gotta be careful going into dumpsters because they can be quite hazardous. First thing I'm gonna try to do is get it out from the side. I make these thermal batteries out of old steel and I uh, put them on top of my wood stove. Got a fire going in here. They're pretty easy to make. You just measure it off. 14 inches works well for my wood stove here. Uh, cut them up and clean them up. Take off the sharp edges and that's it. I could put some heat resistant black paint on there and I might someday, but for now this is what I'm going with. And I've been doing this for a while. And uh, here you can see the top of my wood stove is about 400 degrees. And these things are about 320 degrees or so on average. Not bad. Now, down here under my desk, I put the hot pieces. And they are now, these have been down here probably for about an hour and a half. And they are now 108 degrees. I just rotate them up. You gotta be careful not to drop them on your toe, obviously. And rotate them down. Not too hard. And now, I've got all that heat that was up there down here by my feet that cardboard will get nice and toasty put your feet on there and it's uh, really nice and comfortable now I've been seeing all this stuff on YouTube about using a sand battery on the top of your wood stove so I started thinking about that and I started thinking about how I could make hoppers on the side and then I could have a little valve on the bottom and drain the sand into a bucket and move it around and take it out when I want the room to get hot and put it in when it's a little too hot and I want to bank some of that heat in the future. I was thinking all these, all these plans. But uh, then I was like, man, I better test this sand stuff because I have a system and it's working pretty well. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to test this sand stuff. And let's see. Who knows? Maybe I ought to do some extra work and go with sand. Out here, if I remember right, I have some sand for sandblasting. It's probably better quality sand than you need for a sand battery. But I'm not buying any sand for this. And it will work just fine. Yeah. Ah! It's breaking the bucket's handle. Since I'm not going to be making these hoppers on the side of my wood stove until I'm convinced that this is going to work really well, I'm going to use this old cooking pot. So I got 18 pounds of sand. We're going to call that good. The steel is slightly heavier. And my steel is now about 33 degrees. Um, a little bit over maybe 34 or so this is a little bit colder but um i can't uh, it it's not it's not cooling down um my steel has been sitting out here for a long time and i got to get this show on the road so we're going to call it good okay sand is going to go on right here so my 10 minute timer went off and it took me a minute to get my stuff together. But now it is time to do our first temperature read on our sand and our steel. So let's see here. We have 
120. No, that's not hot. It barely warm. Oh, 72. Let's see. Oh, that's uh, that's stone cold in there. There's some people and they would put um, copper in the sand. And I couldn't find any copper just now, but I did find these aluminum pieces pretty easy. So I preheated them a little bit right here. And um, uh, we're gonna put these into our sand. So we're gonna go like this and see if we can't conduct up some of the heat that is down in there. And uh, maybe that will bring some of the heat up into the sand. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so it's been a total of 36 minutes. And let's see. Fire still going. <clears throat> 240 degrees now. Handle's not hot. Well, it says 95, 91. How's it feel? Feels cold. These feel cold too. Okay, so it's been 56 minutes total. These things I put down here before this start that I started that timer, and they are still 130 degrees. And this stuff up here, this is 270. Six degrees. Got sand all over the place. And this is, it says it's 113, 115. Let's see how it feels. It feels slightly warm. Is it warmer around my aluminum? Yeah, the aluminum is conducting the um the heat and i would say that it is slightly warmer around the aluminum than where the aluminum is not and let's say that this was nice and hot right where i could want to use this i guess i could dump this out underneath my desk and make a little sandy beach down there but that that's just a huge mess yeah, sand all over the place all the time. Well, look, fan started here, wasn't going there. Uh, you want to be able to move your heat around. Just get an old teapot and a hot water bottle. That's what I used to do. Day has been going and you want to bank some. So when you're not stoking your fire, just use some bricks. Any fired clay brick would work better than the sand. And it's not going to make a mess. If you do want to use steel, and you can't get pieces like these, then uh, look for old exercise equipment. I'm not going with the sand rope. Um, glad I tested it. You can do whatever you wanna do. And if you're interested in how to uh, get some of the heat back out of your chimney, check out this one right here. Take care out there, stay safe. Now I gotta clean all this stuff up. Ugh. Whose idea was this anyways?